Hello everybody. So I actually created a number of carriers to test out this uh, merge block system I've been polishing. And this is the small one. I've been limiting myself to vanilla, and it turns out that it's quite difficult to build carriers in vanilla just due to the way that the heavy engines don't really work very well. The result I've come up with is a long string of heavy engines, just far enough away that they don't hurt each other. But obviously that's kind of cheesy on its own. So this is a carrier, a small carrier, for seven ships. Four unsecured ships on the bottom. And you can see they're defended by three Gatlings. And on the top... Three more Gatlings, and a three-bay ship area. This is a secured area. But this ship is capable of putting out a lot of G-Force, so I like my ships to be pretty snappy, my big ships especially. So, um, if you are the sort of person who doesn't put quite enough um, attachment space on their fighters, you may find that your fighter gets ripped off as I move around, because this is a very efficient vanilla ship. Uh, there are definitely better ships, better ways to build ships, uh, when you do mods. Even even the non-cheaty mods, some of them in understand industrial engines better. But uh, this is a pretty good vanilla ship. It's quite small, but it has everything you need in vanilla. So if we take a look here, this is our ship. And you'll notice that it has an open bay, and I said that it was secured, so how does that work? Well, as you might expect, we just want to make sure that we're stopped here, yeah. We just go ahead and trigger it. Normally you'd press a button, but I want to be able to see every second of it. So, let's go ahead and get in close and hit that button. Now, you generally do not want to be sitting in a cockpit when you do this, because there are there's one big weakness to this merge block system, and that weakness is that the merge blocks, um, when they're in transit, you really should not move the ship even a tiny, tiny bit. It works great as long as... Uh, Objective complete. As long as you never move the ship, they'll work great. But if you move the ship even a centimeter, no good. So, if it was pistons, you could move the ship while you were doing that. But on the other hand, if it was pistons, now that we're in this mode, we would have that thing weighing us down, and we'd have skew, and we'd have to worry about how fast we can move. And I built a pretty spry little ship. So, uh, I don't want to worry about how fast I can go, and I want the ship to be rock solid no matter what I do. So this is four generators, four large generators of output. And you can see it gets up to speed in a relatively quick period of time. And it is nimble as hell for a carrier. And that's because I don't have to use any moving parts. Oh, it was a little bit... I didn't even see that ship. It doesn't have a beacon on it, so I wasn't paying attention. I was focused on the red ship, and I slammed into that ship instead. Well, hey, well, let's see what, what sort of damage resistance this ship has. Uh, in order to keep weight down, I didn't use very much heavy armor, and so we can expect it to have taken quite a lot of damage from even glancing blows like that. Uh, it's not built to um, operate uh, in that sort of manner. It's, not, it's, it's, it's built to stay uh, far out of combat as possible because, of course, it's a carrier. And, yep, the blue ship did not manage to hold on. It wasn't secure enough. So, obviously, you'll need to be careful when you pilot it. So, these are the underdecks, like I showed you before. And this is where you'd put your four unsecured fighters. Well, three unsecured fighters, because we just ripped a hole in this last one. You can see that the, uh, the impact actually tore through several decks. And it actually damaged... this might be what knocked the fighter loose, because it damaged what the, the thing the fighter was moored to. But, all of the stuff is still intact. The ship is still connected. 
Uh, it's, it's broken down here, but it should be... No, it's probably split the, the uh, supply line. So these are no longer supplied by the central uh, system, but they're still operational. They'll, they'll be operational until they run out of ammo. So I would not consider this damage to be very significant, uh, especially not in a combat situation, and that's kind of the way I designed this ship. Um, it is pretty easy to take damage when you're... Th this ship can, can get trashed pretty easily, but none of the damage will matter. It will continue to operate no matter how many hits it takes. The only way you can destroy it is by punching through the heavy armor that we've got down here. And if you do that, well, that's the reactor center, and that will definitely shut the ship down. Um, but even then, you won't actually lose the turrets. The turrets will keep firing. So I would consider the ship to be reasonably well designed. Now, I don't know whether I want to bother sharing this ship on the Steam Workshop or not. Um, I like the ship, but as vanilla ships go, it's very small uh, and not terribly complex. So let me know what you think, whether or not I should share this vanilla ship, uh, at least as a prototype, or whether I should slack, uh, I should pull back off of my restriction and start making ships with mods, because that's, that's where this stuff really starts to shine. <sighs> I actually kind of like this ship. It's, um, it's not spectacular, but it is very solid for a vanilla ship. Quite fast, uh, very frail, but it's a carrier. Let's get a close-up look, shall we? And obviously, uh, it takes care of itself. It turns off all these rocket turrets and stu such. It doesn't. It doesn't allow you to accidentally destroy yourself, uh, unless, of course, you are piloted by an idiot like like this one was. Neat. What the hell are you doing? Oh, it has a 10 second okay. There's really no reason for that. Not that that's going to help any, because I'm certainly not going to save a ship with a hole in it. <laughs> anyway, that is that, and uh, let me know what you think. Wow, you can see space straight through. It actually punched through the entire ship. That is the thinnest part of the ship, so I guess that makes sense.